These are my wheels for today. Look at this beauty. Let's row. had some breakfast. Now I'm heading from the Trias village down to Samana. Bart and I are going to an island and then after that we're going to meet with some builders and then I'm going to meet with the owner of this lot, give him some money, and I'm buying land in Dominican Republic. I cannot believe it. It's actually happening and I'm stoked. you keep a 19 month old entertained for hours. We're like on round 30. Jax, you having fun? Well, sweet nips. What's this place about? Dear what? Check out these nips. He had, uh, I had these nipples bumps. detached. He had them detached because he thought it would look cool. <laughs> he decided, he immediately No, you didn't it. just get one, you gotta get both. Yeah, this there, one, there's another nipple. This one also got taken off. When I got my breast enlargement, it was super hot. He went down a cup size and they just went in through the nips. What's this island called, bro? Cayo Levantado or Bacardi Island. It's called Café Constantado. Yeah, that one. Yep, or Bacardi Island. This is where they did all the Bacardi commercials in the, the 80s. Is it really? Yeah. For reals? For reals, yo. This is the like the portal to the west. Really? There's been nine different countries that have owned this island. Are you serious? Dead serious. No way? Yeah. This is where Christopher Columbus was in those caves right over here. Really? Yeah, I promise. Is it because this is like south side, so that's where they... No, it's the east side. East side. So when they came across yeah. this, this is where they landed, bro. Bacardi Island, bro. Bacardi Island. So you're telling me that pirates have partied on this island? I'm telling you that they pulled $350 million of gold bouillon out of this like four years ago. What? They've got ships here that are from <laughs> 1780 that have cold water still going over the top where a stream goes over it that still is all intact. What? A whole ship. Yeah, it's true. Dang, I want to go scuba dive that shit. Zupas love Zupas. It's so bomb. It's so bomb. You dancing? He's been so good too. Jackson, can you say hi? Behind the camera. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, guys. So this guy, Bartolo Griffin, started a, a commercial cleaning business in it, Boise, Idaho. And it was awesome. He grew it to a, a few mill, a handful of mills, sold it, and traded it out for freaking Dominican life. He built 22 tree houses. If it was just that so awesome. He carved I, I his was... land out of the jungle with his bare hands rock by rock. This story keeps just getting better and better. Coconut by, by coca ball. <laughs> and he built those tree houses. Then he figured out how to get people there to get drive three hours from the airport to get there. To be honest I was driving in his Jeep today and I was getting cat called by men and women and havesies people. You go in this city right here, Samana, and you ask about Bart Griffin, they will tell you. They don't you, even know who I am. They will tell you some stories, bro. They don't even know who I am. They're just like, yeah, the gringo loco. I'll be honest, I feel bad. I'm sitting here on a beach, waiting to buy this property, while Chelsea's chasing two crazy kids around. Oh. Tell us about this drone, bro. In Idaho, we got a 3D printer. Yeah. And my, my cousin's like, hey, dude, why don't we build a drone? I'm like, that would be epic. <laughs> so we got in the garage and we had uh, Stevie. Stevie Jobs came over for the day. <laughs> and we got with the, the printer and it was awesome. And then we started Microsoft and then Micron. We started getting into Albertsons. <laughs> and then I came over and started building treehouses, the, the Dominican Treehouse Village .com. Travis is doing right now. Look out. Wait till those things get hard, dude. dude. That's like a nipple foreground shot. Can you see the, look, here's the stitches. Just out here in the Dominican jungle, doing a little bit of night rallying. Getting a little crazy on the country roads. Doesn't 
doesn't get better than this. I had a really good day. I'll be honest though. Two days away from fam, that's my max. It's fun for two days and then I just want to get home. I head out tomorrow, 18 hours later, 16 hours later, I'll be back to Chelsea and Riley and Jax. Can't wait. But I think that's a rule. It's 48 hour max. After 48 hours, nothing's fun without your fam. It's like an um, immutable fact, I think. So it's raining right now and it is the best thing ever.